Hello there, welcome back to the new lecture. So in this lecture we have to discuss about air terminal with plenum box. So suppose here we have placed the uh, diffuser. You can see in this 3D view also. This is our diffuser, hit on fine and shaded view. Now whatever diffuser we have placed, it is in the ceiling level. Okay. Now over this diffuser, if you want to use the plenum box, you want to place the plenum box. Okay, so how to create that, that I will show you here because all of you know the advantages of plenum box. Plenum boxes are used with diffuser to distribute air more evenly in HVAC system. Okay, if you talk about the advantage, so the advantages of this plenum box is that it allow for better airflow control and distribute distribution by providing a space for the air to mix and distribute more uniformly before reaching the diffuser. Okay, so plenum box will convert laminar flow into turbulent flow. So this can be result in improved air quality, temperature control and overall system efficiency compared to simply attaching a diffuser directly to the duct work. Okay. So that is why we are using plenum box. So if you want to use the plenum box, so how to do the sizing? So all detail you will get in the GURF grill corporation. Let's see. Here when you open the GURF grill corporation catalog, which already I have shared you. So in that you will get the topic plenum box. When you open that plenum box topic here, you will get the size. If you are using plenum box over the diffuser, so see the size is given as per your neck size. Neck size means this size of diffuser. Okay. Whatever size we are calculating from catalog software, this is called as a neck size. This is your face size. Okay. So as per neck size in the table, you can see the diameter. You will get the diameter of this opening width of this plenum box, height of plenum box, everything. So in our project, you can see here we are using diffuser. So I'm just we, generally we are we are placing the plenum box in supply air duct. So just copy it. See here I have taken this plenum box here. Okay, suppose I want to place here. I want to attach the plenum box. I want to use the plenum box over the diffuser. So first here you have to check the size of your uh, diffuser. So how much size we have selected neck size? See, 12 inch by 12 inch. Okay, so if it is 12 inch by 12 inch, so you have to come here in this table. So from this, this size table, select the size 12 inch by 12 inch. See, this is your size. Now for this, how much diameter for this opening is given? 10 inch. Okay, width of plenum box from this point to this point, it is around 12.28. Okay, means we know that 12 inch is your neck size. Okay, so means you have to take the offset value in both side. How much? 0.28 divided by 2 means 0.14 offset we have to take. Okay, then height of this plenum box for 12 by 12 inch is 14.13. Okay, remember this thing. Now come here and see how to create. So for that, first of all, where you want to use the plenum box in which diffuser, just select any existing diffuser from the drawing like this modify tab edit family option is given hit on that edit family now here you have to select the duct connector from the drawing and remove it because here we have to place the plenum box so we don't need here duct connector so remove it like this okay you can see in shaded view also this is our plenum sorry this is our diffuser okay supplier diffuser now come here in create tab hit on create tab uh, here you will get the family types hit on that family type you can give the name as per your requirement so generally our diffuser is of 24 inch by 24 inch face size 12 inch by 12 inch neck size so don't need to change the uh, name but if you are using some different size of diffuser so you have to change the name and here also after changing the name change the duct width and diffuser width as a neck and face width respectively so here in our case we are using same diffuser 24 inch by 24 inch face size so see uh, 24 diffuser width and diffuser height is 24 width inch by 24 inch duct width duct height is 12 inch by 12 inch so don't need to change it okay just leave it as it is after that finally hit on apply okay getting now come here in pb project browser here you have to hit on 
views see hit on this plus sign in floor plan just hit on this plus sign again and select the reference plane hit on that reference plane here your diffuser is ready now we have to create the planum box so how to create by using the extrusion tool so in create temp form panel extrusion select the extrusion from the drawing from draw panel select the rectangle shape now now see always start the extrusion from where from 4 inch because the thickness of diffuser is 4 inch okay so we have to start the extrusion from 4 inch now here extrusion end means height of extrusion how much so already I have discussed height we have to take for 12 inch by 12 inch is 14.13 inch okay so take the height in place of depth write down the height 14.13 inch okay now offset also we have to take how much offset you can see uh, this diffuser neck size is 12 inch by 12 inch so but the width of total planum box it is given 12.28 means we have to offset on both sides how much 0.14 inch okay so come here in place of offset write down 0.14 inch okay after that draw the rectangle across neck size so select the rectangle draw this is your neck size draw the rectangle across neck size like this hit on finish edit mode now you can see in 3d view from here just hit on shaded view here we have created but now we have to create this one also opening okay here only we have to connect the duct now. so the diameter of this opening is given it is a actually round opening okay if you want a rectangular opening if you want to connect the rectangular duct to this round opening so you have to use the connector duct connector okay a rectangle to round so you can use that fitting automatically you can easily connect the rectangle duct in this fitting also okay so see for 12 inch by 12 inch duct diameter is showing 10 inch okay so from the base of this diffuser how much offset we have to take 3 9 divided by 16 means it is around when you do the calculation now 3 into 16 plus 9 divided by 16 it is around 3.5625 inch from the base we have to offset that much and from the top 5 by 8 inch remember this point okay so come here so where you want to draw the opening suppose i want to draw the opening here in this face okay so first you have to select the plane so create tab work plane panel show set pick up plane hit on that now select this face where you want to draw the opening okay so now see here you will get the plane now make this plane as a front view so hit from this 3d cube hit on this and now it is your front view of that a uh, plane now here what i am doing uh, just draw the model line one line from this horizontal uh, from this base point because we have to take the offset now and in the top only so from the base how much offset we have to take 3.5625 as i told you so select it in modify tab here you will get the offset command hit on offset now write down the offset distance 3.5625 inch so that i have written then select this line offset it like this now from the top we have to offset 5 by 8 inch means uh, 0 0.625 inch okay select that line hit on offset and 0 0.625 inches and then offset it now delete this two line because we don't need now between this only we have to draw the uh, circle if you want to see confirm see it is given everything detail from the base we have to offset 3.625 from the top 5 by 8 means 0 0.625 inch now here we have to draw one uh, circle by using the extrusion command okay of how much diameter 10 inch okay so here now i want to draw the so hit on create tab form panel from here you have to select the extrusion but before selecting extrusion here i want the center point between these two lines so same thing draw one line like this by using the model line and to identify the center point just take the cursor here you will get the center this is your center point okay now see what I am doing create tab extrusion from draw panel select the circle now extrusion start from zero okay remember now and how much uh, thickness of that I am selecting one inch is enough okay 
take this center point and draw the circle of how much diameter yes 10 inch na? so here I have drawn you can change this radius from here uh, 5 inch if I am taking the radius 5 inch it means diameter is of 10 inch hit on finish edit mode now delete this reference uh, line which you have taken delete it from here now see here you don't want to see the plane so create tab again hit on show plane will automatically hide here we have created the opening now same way now we have to place the duct connector here in this space so how to place it is very easy create tab connector panel see duct connector option is given hit on that duct connector select this upper plane like this see here you will get the duct connector after that here you have to do the setting because this opening is of round shape and duct connector is showing rectangular shape so select the connector from the drawing come here in properties palette from here you have to select the shape first of all I want round shape duct connector hit on that round okay what is the diameter 10 inch na? so select the 10 inch when you hit on 10 inch automatically see this connector will fit in your uh, round okay which you have created now extrusion so connector will fit on that extrusion after that from here you have to identify the flow configuration so hit on preset flow direction is what we have uh, drawn the plenum box in supplier diffuser so flow direction is what in only you know that because air will coming from the AHU or FCU okay will enter in this plenum box and then we are supplying so in okay supply system classification supply air loss select a specific loss okay from here you can select the pressure drop flow value also for for that how you can select this first you have to do the you have to do the sizing everything as I told you now as per flow rate so whatever flow rate uh, we have done the heat load calculation you have to see that flow rate write down that flow rate value and pressure drop value you will get from the software already I have shown you and from the catalog also you will get as per your flow rate value you will get the pressure drop value so write down that detail hit on apply finally so okay now you can draw the duct from here so now after doing this after creating the plenum box over the diffuser come here in file tab save it as a family like this and save it to the desired location for example I want to save in desktop so I have selected here desktop now write down the name uh, supply air diffuser with plenum Okay, same way you can uh, create a plenum in grill also if you want to place so supply a diffuser with plenum box save it now finally what you have to do remember the name which you have given finally you have to hit on load into project and close now see here we have done now if you want to see that like this come here in floor plan this is our diffuser if you want uh, same plenum box diffuser if you want plenum box over this diffuser select the existing diffuser from the drawing from the list here already if you remember I have saved uh, that diffuser with the name SAD with plenum box just replace it select the existing one replace with updated one like this now see here you will get the plenum box if you want to draw the duct select that diffuser right click draw duct now see you can easily draw the duct if you want to three, see this thing in 3D view, hit on 3D view, here you can see, here we have that diffuser. Can you see this? This is called as a, in this way we have to create the diffuser or air terminal device with plenum box. Okay, I hope now all of you understood this. So hope all of you enjoy this session. See you in next one.